Thank you for reminding me of that. Thank you. Jessica stole my, what I was going to start with, to thank all the folks that we might have seen um, but might not have seen for making it possible. For thank, so thank you for reminding us. Um, I really want to, um, in, in a special way, um, Karen has thanked all the people that make this possible, but I, I just want to thank you, Karen, on behalf of the Board of Directors. Um, you have been moving the Carl Health Foundation into space that um, we went from being confused and, and probably uncertain about what to do um, into a space that is feeling very different. And I want to thank you for, in particular, having uh, the wisdom and the courage and the willingness to be vulnerable um, to create and recraft the symposium. Um, I don't know how many people remember the symposium from years and years ago. Um, it was much smaller. Um, it was uh, focused differently. Um, and Karen, you have sort of reconstructed the symposium um, into creating space for more voice and for more storytelling so that every year we can go into a deeper conversation um, that is now really focused um, on racial justice. And I want to thank you um, for doing that. And I want to tell you that um, while not all of our board members could be here, I feel like what we, what I, I wish they could have been here for is, Karen, I think you've already given us the majority of the annual report. To actually be in a room and, and be able to listen and learn, which is our job, um, as a board, not only to look at the governance of the foundation, but to really listen and learn, because we have so much to learn, that to be in a room like this and to listen to the stories, um, to hear the voices, um, to see the people, um, to have it filled like this on the last day. Um, I think you've done the annual report. I, I don't know, some others might say, what else? But I, I feel like I've had the annual report here. I want to personally thank folks for, I come to this so that I can listen and learn. I live in this nonprofit space and healthcare and community um, and every time I come you pull like all all the pieces get started um, I feel hopeful I learn I learn things I never imagined I would hear I get angry and I chose to go to the session this morning about mobile home parks and if I wasn't angry enough I thought when you had the video on with a room full of people who look like me sitting there taking advantage of people. I thought, oh man, all right, I, you got me fired up. I'm leaving to go do some more work. Um, I would just like to end on, um, it was already asked by multiple people. Jessica um, asked us to, to do this. Karen asked us to do this. I, w I want to ask again that we all leave and do one more thing, you know? that between now and the next symposium, um, I am so grateful for so many people who are already tearing down the infrastructure of oppression that exists in this country, but we need more people to get up and move from ally um, to being accomplices. And so what I would want, um, I hope um, that a lot of folks are leaving ready to take more bolts out, more screws out of that infrastructure, because I would love to see this sort of virtual pile of garbage that is that infrastructure torn down and disposed, disposed of and behind it is what we want, which is this just and equitable world. So one thing, even if it's the, your first step individually or organizationally, do it with somebody um, and let's tear it down so that we come back next year and have this image of a huge pile of stuff that we've removed um, and built up with something that we're all hopeful for. So thank you very much for coming and, and helping us all learn.